which is the final stage of the game, I kid you not. Only three stages. Lazy developers, you bastards. Data Design Interactive. I think this was like a test market game or something. It feels so much like a demo to me. I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah, and because I've beaten it once, as you can see, I have this score pickup, hidden pickups, and time attract mode. And I guess it adds a little bit of replayability, but if it sucked the first time, why would you do it again? <clears throat> So, you guys are fortunate in that you don't have to watch me run around like a moron. But I can still get blown up to oblivion because I'm not paying attention to landlords. So, uh, let's see if I can remember where all eight pieces are. Probably not. It was retarded. Uh, I spent like half an hour looking for the final piece and it was right under my nose, literally. If I just followed the arrow, I would have found it, but it was kind of weird. It's in a weird spot. I will show you when I get to it. I'll try to make it the last piece. So, just climb up this direction here. Make the platform. Okay, we walked into hot pudding or something. Yes, hot pink pudding. I don't know what it is. Syrup? Frosting? Something like that. Look at the jimmies in the cake. Isn't it aesthetically pleasing? There we go. Look at that. A multicolored lollipop. Man, they went all out. And a polka dotted. Polka dotted. I don't know. <laughs> Forget it. Wedges of cake everywhere. And cookies. It just makes me hungry playing this game. Swinging, swinging, swinging up, swinging. Yeah, you got. You, you can't immediately swing when you take damage. You gotta kind of delay it like a, a full second before you can swing again. I find that a problem. Just a little bit. Bees don't give you any hearts. Also find that a problem. They're not that big of a problem anymore. Because when I see them, I just run away. Or, I mean, I keep my distance at least. I don't go I'm just trying to manhandle them with my samurai sword. It never works. This guy came out of nowhere. It just targets whatever it, it wants. Alright, that should be good enough. Oh. Flip it around, flip it around. Kill this dude. Take his heart. Eh, uh, we're not gonna make that. At least it bounces you high enough. That's like the highest jump you can get in the game is falling in a pool of lava or something. Can't hit it. Can't hit. Cake monster. Alright, forget it then. Just knock it in the uh, pudding. Yeah. Whatever. I need some health. I'm gonna die if I don't <coughs> take more precaution. I have to be careful. As I run into the. No, no, no. No, no. Kill. Kill it. It. I guess that was the only piece over here. So we just run across here, and we're gonna have to make a right to get the the next piece. What was that? Oh, the landmine. I remember. It was a trick. It was a booby trap, but I saw through it. I sure did. Hello, Hasbro B. Go find your own game, buddy. All right. So to the right here, blocked by this dude. Can't hit him yet. Eh, he fell over. It doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. He'll respond now. Wow, that camera automatically flipped for no reason. Oh my god, I want. Camera stuck in the wall right now. That's, that's great. Oh my god. I need to jump towards 
my... Whatever. Maybe it was targeted to that dude. That was stupid. Let's put away our little reticule thing. I was like, yeah, dude, I, I have to jump this way. I know the game's like unplayable, but if you're asking me to do that without seeing where I'm going, that's, that's a little bit too much. There we go. Piece number three. And, uh... Let's go back to me. Or let's take damage. I like taking damage. It's great. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Oh my god, can't see. Alright. Five heart pieces. Five of the power cells to go. It's not that bad. It's pretty easy. Kill that cupcake monster. Run away from the bee. Flip it around again. Show that bee is boss. The bee only takes like two hits, but it's getting the camera to work with you that's the problem. Uh, yeah, whenever you throw a uh, whatever white ball kind of thing that is, it makes a little Wii sound effect on the Wii mode. And I don't remember if. Uh, it rumbles at any moment. Yeah, it probably rumbles. It rumbles when you take hits or get hit. So I mean, they like they did all the features. Yeah. Oh, I just missed that. That would have not been cool. Get the, get that. Yeah. Okay. So the next heart piece, I get another life. Cause they're generous like that. Dude, you got three lives. That's not gonna be enough. You need more. Okay, let's just get this checkpoint. Let's show you the uh, view we have here of that open scaffolding and gingerbread's face for some reason. Alright, keep going this so uh, landmine. Okay, we're fine. Uh, see? I got a 1 up, but they took away some hearts. I'd rather have the hearts than that 1 up. For that reason exactly. Okay, keep going this way. Maybe jump over there at some point. And look at this cookie they put right here. Look how much uh, area they gave us to land on. Just a sliver, just enough. Because they're, they're, they're nice guys. Nice program. What's with giving leniency? Alright. Left here. I'm gonna go to my right first. I'm going this way first. Because the other way will be the final pieces. And I don't need to go that way yet. So, heading across all the cookies here. I cannot understand playing this game without the Z button. If you have to play this game, do it without the Z button. Use your nunchuck. I mean, it's doable, but it's very awkward. Like, horribly awkward. That dude is just out there. There's nothing over there. It's a trap. It's like, you need a heart? Go over there. But then you're going to take a hit getting back anyway. So it's like, haha. Can't hit this guy because he's too close to the cookie. Kill him. I think. <laughs> Alright. Two pieces left. Be done. Be completely finished with Ninja Bread Man. The first. That's right. The first Ninja Bread Man. Believe it or not, there is a sequel to this, Ninja Bread Man number two. But I don't know if it's been released yet or if they've scrapped the idea. If they've scrapped the idea, I can understand why they did that. No, really, I. I, I understand why the developers said, you know, maybe it's not a good idea for us to continue this, the story of Ninja Grand Man 1. Huh. I mean, there's just, there's no flaws at all. This thing is so fluid. <clears throat> it's a great game. It's, it's wonderful. Alright, so technically we're in the last room of the uh, 
in the game here. Final world. There's a little platform-esque thing up here. Wanna get away from me though. Wow. Love that target system. Anyway, there's our power piece over there on the right. Just keep following the platform cookie things. They look delicious. They do. They're kind of maybe honey coated cookie things. Oh, strawberry filled too. Alright, so this arrow is pointing to our last piece, and I'm like, well, where is it? It's obviously down, right? Yeah, it has to be down. It's on top of this platform. Or, I mean, it looks like it's by this platform. Well, where it actually is, is in between the crack over here. Yep. Took me a good 15 minutes to find that last piece. Because I, like, I went through this room, and I did not see that little section on the left there. So I was like, dude, where is it? So I went back through, like the whole level just to find that power cell and uh, it was right there the whole time. Whatever. We're done. We just have to get to the last alien spaceship transportator transportator thing and we'll be done. It's over. We've defeated the evil cake level designer and have returned it back to normal or something. I don't know what the story is. There is no story. Level completed! That's it. That was the game. No no cutscene. Just goes back to the main menu. That's it. No credits. Oh, here's the credits. Dedicated to the hard-working team that pulled together and made this happen. Thanks a lot. Datadyne Interactive. I got two middle fingers for you, baby. <laughs> you guys could have worked a lot harder. Could have got some playtesters for this. Could have put some effort into it. I mean, sure, there wasn't that much artifacing or like everything seemed streamlined and all, but you were very limited where you could go. There was visible walls left and right. The camera angle was against you. Using it on the Wii, for for one thing, the, the accuracy of this little arrow thing is not the best. I, I mean, like, I know this game came out in 2007, but now they have the Sony Move, and it's a lot more like pinpoint accurate than this would be. But even for the Wii games, Mario Galaxy was like in a whole nother world compared to this. But uh, yeah, it's the God's technology, all right. <laughs> oh, sh yeah. Any other flaws? Uh, some sections weren't explained, like that ridiculous puzzle thing. It would have been nice to have a sign, like, find the right path or something. I don't know. Uh, levels could have been a bit longer, a little bit more variety added somehow. Oh, it just keeps looping? Wonderful. Like I said, it feels like a demo, an incomplete demo. If you wanted to go back, you could do the time attack, uh, the hidden item, pick up things. But, why would you? I mean, in all reality, it's just such a waste of time, this game. It fails completely. They had a good idea, though. A, a, a ninja, like Shinomi, Shinobi Ninja, like, if they totally made him badass awesome like that, and then maybe some characters that actually look like what they should be instead of this kitty food stuff that looks like a Nabisco brand Hasbro slash kind of kitty game thing that... I don't know. I don't know what they were going for here, but it sucked. It sucked hard. 